What's going on guys, back with another Fortnite video, and in today's video, as you can tell by the title and see by the thumbnail, I'm doing a duo landing spot video, because there was recently Dreamhack duos, and there's probably going to be more duo events in the future, and you want to know the best landing spot, because it's quite hard, and landing spot's very important, because you don't want to die of spawn, and it makes you get to your end game. If you end up finding this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe. Landing spot number one is Durburger. Durburger is really good because you can get lots of mechanical parts and you can also fire an NPC to get rewarded with a purple pump. This is really good because it can set you up for mid game. In this landing spot there will be around 1-2 to two teams landing with you due to because the NPC gives you a purple pump and everyone wants a purple pump because it's probably one of the best guns in the game. But don't worry because I have a backup landing spot behind Durburger and it's a very good spot to get loot. So if people do land a burger, then later in the video I'll show you this backup spot and you'll be chilling. In the burger you can mine up to max materials because there's pallets everywhere. There's also a brick wall all around the burger and you can mine all of that. There's also metal chairs inside the cafeteria which you and your teammate can mine. So you should be chilling on mats and should set you up for the end game slash mid game if you're in a box up. In the burger there's lots of floor loot, there's also lots of ammo boxes and you can find some vegetable boxes to get your shield up. If I was to land in the burger with my duo I would recommend landing the centre which is the cafeteria bit just because there's just so many doors and that's where most of the ground loot spawns. Also as you can see you can mine the chairs very quickly and get easy mats. There's also an underground bit where you can go so if a team's going to start pushing you you can build lots of walls and then the team will have to push you. It will be your edits. Then you can get shots off and maybe trap them in. And that should give you the kills. Another reason why landing in the center of the Durburger is really good. Is because the NPC spawns there and then it's a guaranteed purple pump for one of your teammates. And then the other people that are landing there with you. They will probably have a green makeshift something like that. And you'll be there with a purple pump. And most likely get the kill. Moving on to the backup spot of the burger, so I'm going to mark it on the map. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I would provide you with the backup bit, so if people do land the burger, I'd recommend landing here. You probably do like know this spot, if you don't, there's lots of slurp barrels here, a decent amount of ground loot, and it's very uncontested. I don't see any team landing here, if you do, you've got pretty unlucky, but don't worry if a team does land here have another backup spot for that so you're sorted but anyway there's like about five chests here like i said before you're sorted on the shield if you didn't find any shield at Durburger. also this doesn't have to be a backup spot for Durburger. so if you if your loot's really bad at Durburger, you can just rotate over to here and get even more loot mine up even more mats if you got rushed by team you're low on health you can rotate over here get the easy shields I'm going to quickly pop a picture up on the screen of the loot here so then you can pause it, take a look and see what kind of loot is here. So here is another backup spot if people do land at that place and their burger. It's right behind Holly Hedges, I'm going to quickly mark it so then you have a look. But yeah this spot's really good, I'm pretty sure there might be a bunker chest here but we're not going to be going through the loot path there. There's also a spot over here as well. But like I said, we're not going to be looting up here. So moving on to the next spot. The next landing spot is Catty Corner. You're probably all familiar with the spot and the weather station. Catty Corner is very good because there's lots of vegetables. Also, it's very uncontested. People only landed here because there was the shockwave launcher. But now the shockwave launcher has been removed because of the new season. No one really lands here. If there was to be a team here, it would be one team or two like the Durburger spot. So you're pretty chilling. But if people do land here, I've got you guys with the weather station. At Catty Corner, there's a few cars. So you can make a quick getaway if you're weak. Or you can mine some mechanical parts if you have a blue makeshift to get a purple pump. But anywhere you land, I'd recommend getting mechanical parts. Just because you can get a blue makeshift at any point in the game. And you want to have them mechanical parts ready at any point. So then you can just box up, get the purple pump as quickly as possible. Another reason why Catty Corner is good is because it's a name location which means a reboot van is there. So if a team does land with you and you manage to clutch up 
but your teammate dies, you can obviously reboot him and then he'll be back in the game. There's also lots of materials that you can mine, there's lots of pallets and lots of metal containers and there's lots of rocks around. So your mass for the game should be pretty good. There's also lots of chests that spawn here and lots of ground loot. I'm going to quickly pop a picture up on the screen like I did in the last spot to show you all the chests, all the ground loot, etc. So just pause the video to have a look at that. Also Catty Corner is mostly in the zone, if not you can use uh, peppers from the vegetable boxes that you've got. So like I said earlier I will be talking about weather station because if people land at Catty you obviously need a backup spot. So moving on to the weather station. The weather station is a very good spot now because an NPC spawns there with a scar so if you kill the NPC you can get a guaranteed scar. There's also about 6 chests here, lots of ammo boxes, you can mine the walls for brick. There's also a metal fence surrounding the weather station so you can get lots of metal and I'm pretty sure everything you hit at the weather station is either metal or brick. If I'm going to be honest, weather station isn't very contested, but sometimes that it's very contested. So yeah, it's pretty random, doesn't really make sense why I said, but you know, decent chest, it's a decent job spot. Moving on to the next spot. So if you looted weather station and just got the worst loot, you want some extra loot, maybe you didn't get any shield, you just got very unlucky at um, weather station, then this is what I call dead side. Literally no team will be here, guaranteed. Like if there's a team here, like I don't know what to say, you're the, you're the most unluckiest person. Because look, as you can see, there's water everywhere. It's very dead side. All you have to do is go into, onto two zip lines. And there's like a little mini spot where you, can, where you can find a chest, get lots of materials. And it's just a pretty low key spot where you can just hide. Like I said before, I don't think any team will be here. But let's go up the hill real quick. If you go up the hill, you'll be muted with a chest. In the house, there is two chests in total. And you can get some ground loot probably. But the only problem with going here is probably the zone will be really far, most likely. But if the zone isn't far, recommend that going here. There'll be no other people here. You can just chill out for a bit. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And see you in the next one.